In this video, I'm going to talk about the last and the final subsection of the introduction of your SLR paper. In total, this series had 48 videos which explained all different subsections for writing the introduction for your systematic literature review paper. I have given you many, many examples on how to write different subsections and different sentence ideas to make your writing easier and thorough. I can guarantee you that this is the best and the most detailed video series that has taught how to write the introduction section step by step by making nearly 50 videos. This is the last and the final video for the introduction section. But before I begin today's video, I want to give you an idea of the effort it takes to dedicate the time and resources to complete such an extensive series on writing a systematic literature review paper. For each week, I had to add 10 videos, that is two videos a day. I prepared those videos over the weekend. This involved planning what to cover in each video, brainstorming ideas for what to cover in each video so that it's easy for you to understand then writing the script, setting up the recording studio, recording the script, editing the videos, designing a thumbnail, uploading to YouTube, and finally doing search engine optimization so that my videos could reach to you all. The writing itself took me more than a day or 15 to 20 hours and recording took another four to five hours to do it properly. Next was to edit the video. And since I worked full time, I had to hire a video editing expert to get my videos professionally edited. Each video that I recorded had to be uploaded to the cloud for my video editing expert to access. And that took a lot of time because these videos were quite long and they were recorded in 4K resolution. This took hours for me to upload and it took a lot of time. As I have outsourced this work, it was not free as I had to hire and pay a monthly salary to do the video editing for me and then upload them to YouTube. The next part was to hire a search engine or a digital marketing expert to do search engine optimization so that my videos could reach you all and you could watch them. This also came at a price. See, this is just the first section of the systematic literature review paper. And I think I have spent around 200 or more hours easily making these videos. There are more than five sections to come and there'll be a lot more videos that would need to be scripted, recorded, edited, optimized, adding subtitles, and so on. I really wish to keep these videos free for the benefit of you all. If you find this series helpful, I request you to make a small donation to my channel so that I can continue to bring such videos completely free. You can support my channel by clicking on the thanks button and making a simple donation. Every little bit helps to keep running this channel for free. If you have received value by following my videos, I will also request you to share this video with your friends or others who are doing their PhD or any other research degree, including MBA, MPhil or even an honors thesis. This will help my channel to grow and I'll be able to bring you more high quality content just like this. Thank you for taking the time to listening to me. Let's now get into the last part of the introduction section. In this section, I'm going to talk to you about how to draw a figure that shows the complete layout of your systematic literature review paper, including the main section headings and the subsections within each of the main sections. For example, if you are drawing the introduction section, we will show various subsections within the introduction, such as prior literature review statistics, research objectives, motivation, and so on. But why is this section so important? This section or this figure gives a graphical overview or a graphical representation of your paper to the researchers who are going to read your paper. It is also important for the reviewers and the editors who are going to review your paper. So this is a very important section in your, in your SLR paper. This is also a very fairly straightforward process. You can complete this figure when your paper is nearly complete because you would need to know the different sections and subsections 
in your paper so that in, you can include all of them in the in this figure there are many tools that you can use to draw these figures and the simplest one is to use word microsoft word because what we are going to see is a hierarchical diagram that is easy to draw using word but if you are interested in other tools that make your figure look much more fancy and creative then check the description uh, as i have included a list of other tools that i often use when drawing figures for my systematic literature review papers you can be creative when doing this part of introduction as it will give a very strong impression about your work to the reviewers because typically very few papers go to this extent of drawing a figure to show the layout of your systematic literature review paper on most occasions it is just a small paragraph or a write up that explains the layout but a graphical representation gives a very different feel i have started using this kind of figure in my slr papers recently and which is why i'm sharing this tip with you in this video so now get started and come up with the first figure with just a basic structure you can start with the main heading that we discussed earlier in the video series if you do not remember then check the link to the video above and refresh your memory i have also added the link to that video in the description any slr paper will have introduction methodology findings discussion limitation future work and conclusion as the key sections and that you should definitely include in this figure so do that start the timer and finish your task there is a link to a timer video in the description as well this task should not take you more than 30 minutes because you just have to draw a simple figure and i already gave you the idea of what you can include in that figure my suggestion would be if you find a figure that you like you should immediately take a screenshot and keep it in your records or copy it to your word document and you can get these ideas from the five slr papers that i have asked you to study before this way you will finish this task on time and will be more productive next i will discuss the answer but before that if you like this video series then share it with other phd's who may be struggling with writing a good quality research paper also hit that subscribe button and bell icon right now if you check the description of this video you will find a link to a timer when you're ready to start this task click on that link and follow the timer to finish your task all the best let's get started with this task in 5 4 3 2 1 all right i hope you have completed this task now let me share the answer to this task i will now show you the answer to this task by sharing some of my papers i will show you three examples of my papers where i have drawn such figures okay here you can see the first paper this paper was published in a journal which has an impact factor of 8.514 you will notice the extent to which i have done a detailed job when drawing this figure there are 12 sections in this paper and each subsection is clearly shown in this figure you will notice that this figure was not drawn using word so do check out the description of this video to see what i have used to draw this figure now let's move on to the second example this paper was published in a journal with an impact factor of 3.367 the paper has five subsections five sections and i have color coded these sections in different colors so a different design for showing the structure of your slr paper which is a little bit more colorful the third paper is a slr paper but it also proposes a new framework and we gather results and report the results too so the structure of this paper is a bit different as you can see detailed analysis of the literature is the slr part and the next part is the framework part this paper has used a color scheme that represents the different hierarchy of different sections and subsections so those were the three examples that i wanted you wanted to share with you similarly if you do find any other papers having some other creative ways to showcase the layout of the paper please do share the link to that paper in the comments below so that others can learn from you that's all in this video thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon as usual all the best and with this video we complete the introduction section of your systematic literature review paper if you have followed 
all the 48 videos and completed all the tasks one by one, I congratulate you for coming on this journey with me. I'm sure you will finish your SLR paper for a high impact factor journal very, very soon. Keep that passion going and continue working on your SLR paper. After you complete this task, I have two video suggestions for you. If you want to check the next task, then click the left video. Otherwise, click the right video for YouTube's recommendation. That's all in this video and end of the first part of the series on introduction. Thank you very much. Bye.